Street Fighter. Right off the bat, I'm going to say if there was no Jean-Claude Van Damme, this movie would probably be a million times better. That speech he gave was terrible. Yeah, we're going to rip his ass out. I'm going to get on my boat and I'm going up river and I'm going to kick that son of a bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Now, who wants to go home? And who wants to go with me? Die for this guy. Let's die for this guy. We're not going to get paid because we already got fired. But yeah, let's go. No. The list. This show, we're plucking the name of the Geeks Listen Just a Podcast YouTube channel. Watch this, watch it, and view it for your viewing pleasure. I'm your host, Edward Present. And joining me today, I got a very special guest, Mi Amigo and Crazy Guy. What's up? <laughs> the title we are scratching off the list today is the 1994 Street Fighter Colonel Guile and various other martial art heroes fight against the tyranny of dictator M. Bison and his cohorts. For those who are new to the channel, I don't understand and don't like, I'm not a huge fan of Jean-Claude Van Damme. I don't get it. I think he's extra. I don't understand it. I don't get the appeal, right? I respect him. I just don't buy. He takes me out of his own movies, right? Right off the bat, I'm going to say if there was no Jean-Claude Van Damme, this movie would probably be a million times better. This movie's kind of jam-packed with Street Fighter characters. We got, of course, Colonel Guile. We got M. Bison, Chun-Li, Ken, Cammy, Ryu, Dalsim, Blanca, Zangief, Balrog, T-Hawk, Vega. We got a bunch of people. And the characters, for the most part, kind of do look like the ones from the games. And the changes that they do, I pass. The only character that I didn't buy was Guile for other reasons. Well, you want him to have, like, the cauliflower hairstyle? Well, well, Jean-Claude Van Damme's hairstyle on this is absolutely terrible, crazy. I know. He has, like, a big bump here. I really don't understand how he got it. So Ryu and Ken are mercenaries? Yeah. They sell guns uh -huh. because they're not they're martial artists, but they never say they're martial artists. Correct. Why are there guns in this movie if it's about martial arts? It's because America versus a terrorist. You just described every 80s and 90s movie. <laughs> Dalsim is a doctor, and then towards the end, he's just bald all of a sudden. So during the fight, he went to go shave his head to come back. <laughs> Well, yeah, maybe he, the guy, the, the place exploded, his hair got on fire. And then They should have showed that. That would have been cool. E Honda is a Hawaiian guy. He's Japanese in the game. But uh, that makes sense because there are yeah, a lot of Japanese people in Hawaii. That one doesn't even bother me. Mm -hmm. Blanca's prosthetics are absolute ass, Crazy Gee. Yeah. That one's bad. Saget I actually really liked. Yeah, but he needed to be like two, two, two meters tall. <laughs> Everyone felt like their character. Even Kylie Minogue's cameo I bought. Oh, well, yeah, she's pretty, dude. And also the Leotard. Right, but she was also doing some cameo moves, going on her, doing like. Some yeah, she, she does salts. the one that grabs your neck. And she does that. She does a little. Th so she's doing cameo things. Probably my favorite, without counting the uh, obvious favorite, was Zangief. He's spot on. He's great. He's got the body. He's got the face. He's got the hair. And then I never really like thought what kind of personality Zangief has, but a big goofy doofus is perfect. He is a doofus in the game. Is he? Yeah. He's like, oh, let's let's fight to to like to find it out. Another question, Crazy Guy. Isn't Ken and Ryu aren't they the main the main guys? Well, yeah. Why Guile? Isn't I th in my opinion, he's the most boring guy. Well, he has two special moves. Okay, but why Kyle? Because he's America? USA. Yep. Okay. And when you think of America, the first thing you think of is Jean-Claude Van Damme, I guess, right? Well, he's not from America. Exactly. That's the f***ing <laughs> point with the whole movie, Crazy Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I think he's not like the, the worst actor, but for Kyle, it's, it's not it. Because Kyle in this movie is not Kyle. It's Jean-Claude no, Van Damme. It's just, just, but just a crazy general that wants to kill terrorists. That's how I felt like it. It just feels like Van Damme was going to do Van Damme. Yeah. It feels like Van Damme didn't even know who Guile was. You don't care. He did. I don't even know if he knew that he did one Guile move, which was the backflip. He did it twice. And Somersault. That's what it called. Well, we call it Flash Kick on Street Fighter 4, but then in other games, Somersault. <laughs> 
You see? But other than that, what, what's the move? Isn't this shit? This is Jean Claude, shit, right? Guile, does, that's not Guile's. No, it's not a special move, but he has like talents. To disrespect him, right? Like but Guile never does this, shit, is my point. Mm, there's a pose in a game that he does that, but in game, no. But he, but that's a, that's like a newer game that's probably a shout out to Van Damme probably, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And then his accent is too heavy. Yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I just couldn't. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's accent, but worse. But even with that, I still don't think this movie is god awful. A lot of it has to do with Raul Julia as Bison, who is by far the MVP. He stole the movie. He was fantastic. This movie is obviously based on the game, but it's actually based on the second game. Raul Julian didn't know what Bison was or what even the game was, but his son did. And he's such a great actor that he knows what parts need and gives that. And I think he did an immaculate job as M. Bison, crazy guy. What do you think? It was pretty good, but I really wish he was more buffed. Well, Raul Julio was actually battling cancer at the time, crazy yeah, guy. Yeah. And he passed away shortly after finished filming. So he never even actually got to finish watching the movie. But even with him being scrawny, which I didn't think so. I thought he looked okay. I bought everything. The boots, the, the thing, the fights, everything that he does is fantastic. And he wins this movie by far. He does the Psycho Crusher, you know, that one's up. Mm -hmm. He doesn't like twirl, yeah. but exactly, it's exactly that. It's a bison move. Mm -hmm. The second Guile dies, I knew that that was horse He dies so early on that I'm like, okay, they're going to bring him back to the dead. That's what I really don't like about Van Damme. He just worries about what he can do to look cool. And if I were to equivalent him to an actor today, he's the 80s Vin Diesel, I guess. The same right. way that he just does his movies so he can look cool. No matter how ridiculous or like dumb the movie might end up being, as long as I look cool, I don't care. Raul Julia did such a good job that even if the plan that he had was kind of weak... Well, yeah. He was going to kidnap everybody until he, he got what he wanted. 67 people. Then he was like, oh, yeah, give me, pay me on my Switzerland bank account. Yeah. $20 billion. Right. But then the the one was like, because he, he was explaining how his money was going to work. Oh, this is worth five pounds. Yeah. How are you going to get that? And he's like, I'm just going to kidnap the queen and force you. So his every plan was kidnap somebody and held them hostage until he gets what he wants. That's a little weak. But I get it. I get it. It was it was fun still. I thought like it was fun. Yeah, but there's like a part where Guile was saying, if you let him kidnap these people, then he's gonna do it again. <laughs> right. Cause he that's the thing too, that they <laughs> they didn't do much to like sell the Guile versus Bison match. But somehow when Chun Li is with him, she picks up a magazine and it's like on the magazine, they're looking at each other face to face like it's a Logan Paul boxing match or something. Yeah. And then the one part when he gets fired, he's all pissed. I'm going to kick. Like, he didn't even do anything to you yet. You have you didn't even see what he did to your friend Charlie Way. Why are you so mad? Guy was saying, oh, he's going to kick his ass. And then, then and Bison would, like. On the screens. On the screens. And they're, like, talking shit like they're rivals from the entire life. Or yeah. They never, that's the thing is, like, he was so pissed off at him. <laughs> That speech he gave was terrible. Yeah, we're going to rip his ass out. Well, I'm not going home. I'm going to get on my boat, and I'm going up river, and I'm going to kick that son of a bison's ass so hard that the next bison wannabe is going to feel it. Now, who wants to go home, and who wants to go with me? <laughs> Die for this guy. Let's die for this guy. We're not gonna get paid because we already got fired. But yeah, let's go. No. The other Asian guy that was working with Gal, mm -hmm. he appears on the movie fighting game. Mm. He has an attack called Harakiri. Mm. He grabs a knife, he pulls it on his stomach, mm. he opens it up, and the splash of blood does you damage. Okay. That character was like not important, but we made him a fighting character. You know why? That's who Capcom wanted to be Ryu. Doesn't look that bad. I would have bought it. When I saw him, I was like, he looks more like Ryu than who they casted for Ryu, Byron Mann. So the director was like, okay, to, to make up for that, they created this whole new character in Captain Sawada. Okay. That actor's name is Kenya Sawada. Yeah, there's another weird thing 
where they're when they're on the boat and they're going to attack Bison and he pulls out this record tape or whatever and yeah, plays yeah, it yeah. and it's like him and his compi on a picnic with two lady. He's like, ah, oh, I'm coming for you, Charlie. He's like, what are you doing? What? <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no clue. Was that like a vision that he plays it on the TV? I don't know. Van Dam ruined the whole movie to me because with uh, with him, it feels like it's two movies. You got the core group doing the cool shit, which it's a lot of spy stuff, which yep, is why. Is. I don't know, but that's fine. And they have Guile coming in, but it's Van Dam, and it's only Van, with Van Dam stuff. And then the other one was like, I'll help you, Blanca. Look over there. It's pretty shit. <laughs> Martin Luther King He <laughs> shoot you in the face yeah. And Dawson was like what are you doing You don't have the rights to do that You were just going to shoot your compia because he looks all weird <laughs> But then in between that You have funny stuff with Zangief going Oh I don't like that you're going to the channel That made me chuckle man I wasn't expecting Zangief <laughs> to steal the movie <laughs> And if it wasn't for Raul Julia He totally would Quick change the channel And, of course, there's some cheese, 90s cheese that you can expect from the movie. But, honestly, halfway through the movie, I was like, you know, this is actually not that bad. So, I did like when, <laughs> while while Van Damme is doing all this cheesy stuff and trying to save the world, Bison is still trying to get it, <laughs> get it in with Chun-Li. <laughs> he turns on the music and he's all like, what's up, girl? <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was funny because, it's like, Chun-Li's talking all shit yeah. and being all stuff. And I was like, yeah, yeah, go on, go yeah, on. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he plays the music, <laughs> dims out the lights. That was fun. That was that was, that was funny. You killed my father. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> that was just Tuesday, that man. Just Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> but then they eventually do fight, and I feel like that was one out of only two actual like two characters fighting. Yeah, Chun Li versus Bison. It was pretty fun. It, it's only a half a second because Chun Li has to lose, so that guy comes and save them. But he was getting his ass kicked. She was winning. Yeah. So again, they don't really need Van Dam. No, but it was weird because uh, in Bison, is, I mean, when the game is actually pretty strong, it's not just the armor. Mm -hmm. But Hero looks like, if I put the armor, I'm actually strong. Mm -hmm. And but he didn't have it on, so Chilin was kicking his ass. The other battle that also felt like character versus character was Zangief versus E Honda. Yeah, Godzilla versus Kong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Godzilla versus Kong. As, as goofy as that was, that was the only other pairing that actually felt like two characters up against each other very much like the, the the video game another like what the hell where the f did balrog get his boxing gloves from he just appeared with the boxing gloves he didn't have it on at all times and then all of a sudden he's got the gloves and he's punching people in the face yeah but where when the, where, the, he just had the gloves like a honda just removes the shirt i'm, I'm, I'm goku mm -hmm. the other guy needs to actually put the gloves yes they were like okay you chun Li and balra go save the go find the hostages mm -hmm. and the next thing you see him he's got the, the gloves the on. gloves and he's punching people in the face of course van damme because i'm calling him van damme because that wasn't guile it was van damme van damme van, van damme defeats god bison with one kick he does two somersaults and then he does a kick that equals three kicks <laughs> But it's really crazy that he's in a Street Fighter movie when he was actually supposed to star in Mortal Kombat. Well, he's the real Johnny Cage. He's the OG Johnny Cage. And so it's weird that he's not in that, which is, I, I, I thank God that he's not in the, no, <laughs> in the Mortal Kombat movies, which came in a year after this one did. They have learned from the mistakes of, of others. This learned the mistakes from Mario movie. Oh, ah, okay. So actually Capcom hmm. had all full creative control for this. They did a terrible job. No one had really done a proper video game movie. The mm -hmm. only thing they had to go off was Mario Brothers. Yeah. And the, the 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 terrible decision there was they just let anybody just do whatever they had. Like that wasn't Mario, right? But it also feels like they were doing stuff for Van Damme throughout the whole movie to kind of like cater to him. I know Van Damme's pretty was it exigent. Van Damme was pretty demanding, but demanding. actually he, there were reports that he was a mess to work with as well for this yeah. movie. He had a $10,000 a week coke problem, <laughs> which can induce some problems, but he was still the studio's first choice. And $8 million out of the 30 something million dollar budget went to Van Damme. Another big chunk went to Raul Julia. Mm -hmm. So that's why the rest of the cast isn't 
jam-packed with stars even though one of them is a star now she went on to be in mandalorian now she's the voice of mulan ming now when which we obviously recognize her now but at the time she wasn't obviously at the level of raul julia or van damme even kylie minogue was kind of like a force thing in because they filmed a lot in australia because it was very cheap so like one of the conditions that they put on the movie that they had an australian actor in there and that's why kylie minogue is there even though i think she did a great job Guile says everybody everybody's crying at the end he has to be the super mega hero and he has to get the girl even though it's the wrong girl but let's give him a girl in any universe is guile with chun li no okay i did like the poses at the end that was really cool i wasn't expecting that even and he even tried to pull off guile's pose that was guile's pose he's all weird and he's doing his hair yeah yeah so i gave him credit at least just for that there was a post credit scene because we were supposed to get multiple we were supposed to get another movie of bison coming out but once it went to production it didn't really move forward and because of that we got street fighter the legend of chun li it's a terrible movie i don't mm -hmm. recommend it <laughs> but i recommend this series if you haven't watched it mm -hmm. the feast of the assassin or asatsuken mm -hmm. it's actually pretty good because the same year that this movie released they also released street fighter 2 the animated movie which goes without saying is way better the script was actually written in one night crazy guy by steven a de sosa he's the same writer behind die hard well the first die hard is pretty good but oh yeah let me finish it in a day i don't give a shit. <laughs> Financially, it did do better than the Mario movie. It did end up grossing almost a hundred million dollars, which was considered a success, even though this movie got dragged by the critics. Which, if you're not, I guess, if you're not a Street Fighter fan or at least recognize the series, this movie does look like a giant mess. But I ultimately, even with my hatred for Van Damme, I ultimately don't think this movie's that bad. It could be worse. Oh yeah, there's one missing character. Who? Fei Long, the one that's Bruce Lee. Mm. I think they don't want to pay rights to Bruce Lee. Of course they don't, because that's expensive. But Street Fighter as a whole kind of started with inspiration from Bruce Lee. The creator of the Street Fighter games was like, okay, what if I make a game where it's all boss fights? And that's essentially what it is. But he used a lot of Enter the Dragon, the all these other movies that Bruce Lee does, and he took that kind of theme and applied it to the game. I don't think it's like the most terrible movie that ever existed. No. But they should have started with Ryu and Ken rather than, oh, yeah, it's America versus terrorists. Mm -hmm. This could have been a good second one. Yeah, it could be a good second one. And then leave it there and you would have made more money. Mm -hmm. But Van Damme ruined it because Van Damme ruined everything. <laughs> but it did outgross Mario Super Mario Brothers movie, and that's not really saying a lot. But Felix and I actually have done a video of the list right over here somewhere on the Super Mario Brothers. Thank you guys for watching. Shout out to Crazy Gay. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and always and forever, you to you.